What's up guys, Minime here, and today we are treading some dangerous waters. Yes, that's right, I'm making a video about Sword Art Online. And before we get started, I'm gonna tell you my stance on the anime, just so I can have fun watching the little graph that shows my viewership drop. I think Sword Art Online is probably one of the best things that has happened to the anime community in a long time. And before you dislike and click off, I have a request. Listen to my argument, because this is something I seriously believe in, and I think I can get you to appreciate Sword Art Online also. So to start with, we have to go back, like way back, back to your first anime. Just out of curiosity, what was it? It's extremely likely that you've named one of these three anime, either Naruto, One Piece, or Dragon Ball. Which is totally okay, most of the anime community admits these are essentially their gateway anime. And by gateway anime, I mean the first anime that they've watched that would eventually introduce them to the rest of the anime community. Alright, fair enough, I think that's something we can all agree on. But unusually enough, there has been a fourth anime breaking into this gateway scene, and yes, it is Sword Art Online. So, I want to preface this part of the debate with my opinion on Sora Online as an anime. Basically, it's blow part. I'd say it's a solid 5 on my anime list. The characters are flat, the concept was pretty cool, but lots of plot holes. Quite honestly, nothing too special. Yet the anime community seems to almost universally despise this anime. Now, I've actually seen some seriously bad anime that doesn't get anywhere near the amount of hate that Sora Online gets. So, why? Well, I mean, obviously it's because it's popular. Well, no shit, like that's the easy answer, but if you ever watched one of my videos, you know that I can never accept that. So, let's go back to the original three shonen anime I was talking about, One Piece, Naruto, and Dragon Ball. If the amount of popularity directly correlated with how much people judge these shows, then all three of these shows would make Sora Online look like a fucking masterpiece. I mean, these three shows are the most popular anime here in the West, so why doesn't everyone give these three more hell than Sword Art? Well, my theory is, is that the more non-anime fans that a gateway show brings over to the non-shonen side of anime, the more hate it's going to get. Yes, I know that's an overly complicated theory, but let me break it down a little bit more. Most people who watch Naruto as their first anime will eventually transition into either One Piece or Dragon Ball. The same goes for One Piece to Dragon Ball and Naruto, and Dragon Ball to Naruto and One Piece. In order to watch these three anime in full, and considering all three are still running in some form or another, they would essentially take up an obscene amount of time. Therefore, once you're part of the shonen community, you can stay in that circle basically forever. Only about 10 to 20 percent of people who watch shonen anime ever make the transition into non-shonen anime, or as I'll be calling it for the rest of the episode, short form anime. You see, while these shows have massive fan bases, they mostly keep to themselves. So how about Sword Art Online? Well, unlike all the previous gateway anime before it, Sword Art pushes its viewers towards other short form anime instead of shonens. Not to mention Sword Art is only 50-ish episodes and a movie long, whereas Naruto, Dragon Ball Z, and One Piece are all, well, a little bit longer. This drastically speeds up the gateway process of getting more fans into short form anime. The reason everybody hates Sword Art Online is not because the story is shit or Kirito is a bad character, but because the anime directly attacks them as a person. It's one of the largest driving forces of changing anime from an extremely niche genre to something that's much more mainstream, making us hardcore anime fans less and less of a special snowflake for liking anime. Now granted, are people openly hating Sword Art Online because of this? No. I think it's very much so a subconscious issue. A lot of the bigger anime YouTubers never really stop and try to break down their own thoughts and truly get to the reason why they believe something. This is why I am here. I do this not just with others, but with my own thoughts. I hate mech anime, but not because it's bad. After breaking it down in my head and tracing it back, it's because I tie mech anime to a very specific memory, which doesn't allow me to properly enjoy the medium. So, manime. Why is Sword Art Online good for the anime community. Because in my opinion, anime is one of the best art forms in the current market. Currently, the industry is putting out some pretty amazing stuff, and I'd love for the rest of the world to see it. By keeping anime a niche genre and not helping it become mainstream, we are very intentionally stunting the growth of the art form, and that's just not right. Sword Art Online is one of the best anime at making short form anime mainstream. And for all the people who hate on it for being a bad gateway anime since it's a bad anime, I want you to think on this. What anime will they watch after they finish Sword Art Online? Well, anime like it, right? I mean, that makes sense, such as Log Horizon. 
Overlord, Attack on Titan, anime that are generally considered some of the best anime in recent times. Sword Art Online is doing good things for the community. Hating on Sword Art Online is legitimately hurting the anime community. I hope I convinced you guys or at least made you guys think of Sword Art in a different light. Let me know if I changed your mind and if not, leave a comment explaining why. If you guys like this kind of content, please consider supporting me on Patreon. YouTube ad rates have not been generous as of recently. As usual, make sure you guys comment, share, like, and subscribe. This has been Anime Matt. Make sure you guys stay man. Go watch that goddamn anime!